Hey YouTube, it's your girl Simply Love, and I'm back to do one last more video for the mid month. Okay, and this is for Pisces. I forgot you guys, or I did it, or something happened during the download. Okay, thank you guys who was telling me about the <laughs> retrograde and when it's gonna be over. I just can't wait. Um, things will get better, y'all. Though it will. You survived it. You survived it so far. You survived it down. That thing going backwards now. Things will get ready to change. Okay? If you survived it. Good for you. Okay? Okay, like I said, I'm going to do Pisces. And that's going to be that's going to be it for me. All right? For until next month. Or I may go over to Bump Squad and do something over there. I'll let y'all I'll let y'all know if I do something over there this week. All right? But anyhow. You guys already know the drill about everything, right? Right. We know the drill. Okay, so this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the sign of Pisces. Like I said, I did y'all video yesterday. I swear I did. Something happened. I think my uh, Wi-Fi turned off. I didn't have it plugged in or something. And it turned off in the middle of the download. And it just, you know, it, it, it wouldn't recover. I tried to recover it and everything to keep from doing it over again. But, oh well. Here we go. <laughs> and remember, these uh, messages aren't for everyone. They're just general. The messages are coming from spirit and your ancestors. Um, and I'm just a messenger. That's it. Okay? So I don't, don't take it personal with me about any of the messages. Okay? Take it personal with your angel guides. If it resonates with you. Okay? And remember, the messages that come out can go vice versa as well. Okay? So let's go. What I'm going to do is um, tell you, start out by telling you some, whatever I hear, whatever I hear, whatever I may be seeing. It just depends on what spirit has. Pisces, 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 sun, moon, rising. Hmm. Pisces, 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 sun, moon, rising. Um... I'm getting a picture of a, 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 a motorbike or a motorcycle. Some of y'all might have just purchased a motorcycle or something or a motorbike, something like that. Or a car. Could be a car, but I've seen a bike like a motorbike, two wheels. I feel like a lot of you Pisces out there in, in your relationship, I'm hearing the word like you're trying to keep the peace. I feel like a lot of y'all like holding back on what you need to say just to keep the peace or to keep some type of um, domestic situation under control. You don't want things to get out of control. But they can if you sit back and just say nothing. You have to say there's a time to say something. I mean, you can, just can't go on without saying anything because that's what causes people to run over top of you. Yeah, because I feel like somebody may be taking advantage of some of you Pisces out there. I feel like there's some type of control. Somebody likes very is very somebody around you is very controlling, and you're very submissive to them. That's what I'm hearing. Um. And I feel I'm here. Um, some of you are, some of you right now are reaping what you sow, or somebody around you is reaping what they sow. They paying for some type of mistakes that they made, or something that they done that wasn't right towards someone else, or you done this to, towards somebody else's. It's almost like karma. That's what I feel like. It's like karma for somebody, either you or the other person. But I'm feeling like this submitness, like you need to, you need to speak up or something, um, Pisces towards somebody who's very controlling okay but i feel like in the end somebody's gonna pay for how they've been acting um because i feel like you've just been very passive passive aggressive against somebody who is very very dominating and controlling time to shift that energy pisces you don't you don't want to stay in that energy too long you don't that's not good. You got to speak up sometime. I know y'all sweethearts. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys uh, feel other people's emotions and you take on their emotions. You try to 
always help somebody, but you can't help everybody. You take on all that energy like that, you you the one going to be down and out. Why everybody else get over their shit and move on. So if there's some domestic issues going on, especially if there's fighting, you guys need to, you know, um, you, some of you may need to leave a relationship if it's constantly like that. That's what I'm hearing for the sign of Pisces. Okay, now let's get into the cards, which I'm shuffling now. One more shuffle, and then I'll start to... First out, yeah, it's a home situation. It's domestic, whatever's going on, okay? For us, uh, you just want peace. You want to, you're trying to maintain peace and stability at a home. That was your recent past, okay? Trying to maintain something, trying to keep the peace, all right? Keep everybody happy. That's you and your recent past trying to do that. And I just said it, okay? Um, you just, see, you just want peace. You want peace in some type of home situation. Some of you are in a marital situation. And some of you are just living together. You're living with somebody. You're trying to keep the peace. Two of them fell out. I'm going to use that for the next one. Okay, you could be with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You're just trying to keep the peace. You're trying to keep peace within yourself. Okay, now you got um, for what's crossing you. Because this is what's happening now. I'm trying to keep the peace. You try, you're shutting up. You're not really saying nothing. You're probably going off to yourself, Pisces, male and females, and just like, I just don't want to be bothered. You don't say nothing. You just walk away. Don't say anything. But, you know, you can't always be the peacemaker. You have to stand up for your, uh, you have to stand up for your rights sometimes. You got the Eight of Swords, but it's in reverse. Okay? And this is somebody who's stuck in their head. You know, somebody, you know, but you're getting out of your head, okay? Because this is what's crossing you. You're getting out of your head. You're getting out of feeling all this, you know, uh, mental anguish, okay? You, you're just getting out of that. You're coming out of some, somebody actually, somebody out there could be just Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy that is, could be just be released from prison or jail too, or picking that energy up. Somebody might be coming out of prison, jail but it's up for a lot of you you're coming out of mental conflict mental um kind of like just chilling you know getting out of your head now what's coming towards you is the six of cups somebody from your past so some of you you like i said you're trying to keep the peace here you're trying to just chill okay you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio uh, now, this person could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Again, you could be married to this person. But I feel like that's what's coming your way, okay? Somebody from the past. Something just, two just fell. No, three. I better put them back up. Um, and they may be what's causing you to, they may be the controlling person, okay? Out of the deal. So, your partner, what it is. Mm -hmm, death. Uh, it's time to let this shit go, all right? It's time to let this partner, your partner or you, or the way you're thinking about your partner, you may need to, like, uh, trying to come to some kind of transformation, like change. You want you want change. Um, you want things to be different. You want a total transformation. It's like putting an ending to something and then starting something brand new. Now, for some of you, you want to you want this partner from the past, but you want them you want them to be changed. That you want to see some kind of difference in them. You want them to have a total change about themselves. Um, but and for some of you, it's like you just want a brand new beginning. Period. Without this person from the past. All right. So, with your partner, your hopes and fears with them is you know juggling. You know, they may have been, you know, a player, like where they taking, you know, going from one side to the other, you know, juggling two people, you and someone else could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. That's your hopes and fears that, you know, with this partner, you're afraid if they don't change that, you know, they just going, you know, this is what they, the outcome is going to be is just a bunch of juggling. They're going to be the same old thing. So that's your hopes and fears. You're hoping for them to change. 
you're hoping for somebody to make up their mind about something but it's going to take change for them to do that okay so but we're going to clarify your fears is that they're juggling you and someone else but your hopes is that they you know stop it <laughs> right that's what three of cups don't look like it that's the outcome talks about three people involved here don't look like it that's the outcome you know come on pisces this is your energy though but it could be the other person as well we go vice versa go however the message is the future is the um somebody like you know blocking you all blocking you out or you blocking someone else out it could be a fire sign aries sagittarius or leo somebody's just gonna like defend themselves they're like i'm not putting up with this crap no more i you know i you know maybe you made a change in yourself and they're still juggling around okay whether it's a marriage or a relationship see still having third party situation the two juggling back and forth and here's the other person here all right and and in your future is like you're just gonna like uh, I, ain't, I ain't putting up with this i'm not putting up with this i'm not putting up with it okay let's uh verify i ain't putting up with it i'm not putting up with this is this the ones i want to use on these all right Okay, verifying the four of wands for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This this one right, right in my hand. It just popped right in my hand as I was shuffling. Okay, so we got the King of Swords. Uh, this is the uh, this is the actual person. So this could be male or female. The energy of this person is like very smart, intelligent, very wise. Um, very much like i said somebody who is in control so this is what this home recent past home situation is someone who likes to be in control you see how big that damn sword is and you see how he's almost cover up this whole damn uh card okay somebody large and in charge somebody's mouthy too they got a mouth on them um uh, yeah, they, they're a little pushy and dominating, okay? As I said. So that's your recent past, okay? So let's look at the uh, four swords for you. Some of y'all dealing with some air energy. Look, I got a little bit of everything. Wow. Let me get, wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. And after these, I'll tell you, especially when you're picking up on all these energies from different people, it's draining. Okay, so like I said, let's look at the uh the four swords. I don't think I shuffled these good. Four swords. Four swords, four swords that you're trying to chill and relax. Why is it four? Oh, here's the one that fell out. Um, it's because you got the four of cups, okay? Is that what that is? Four of cups. Yep. Four of cups is like you bored <clears throat> with this situation. You're chilling again. You just want to like be to yourself. You don't want to be bothered right now. You, you just don't want to be bothered. <laughs> Four cups is somebody who's, you know, being offered love. See all them cups around you? There's offering there, you know, and it could be by the same person offering you love over and over and over again. You're just like, um, uh, I'm just trying to chill and relax. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get my head together here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you, you just, you're too bossy in the household here. You just want to run the whole thing. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep peace. Like I said, remember earlier intuitively is coming out spirit don't lie okay so let's look at this um <laughs> the eight of swords in reverse 
You know, you're coming out of conflict and you're coming out of self-prison in your head. You're coming out of all this head tripping stuff. So with that in reverse, you got the um, the King of Pentacles. Okay, we're talking about the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a, a actual person, okay? Where you want to be grounded. You know, you actually may want to be single, okay? You want to you want to let go of a situation that you feel imprisoned in your mind, body, and spirit, and you just want to be single. Period. And you want to be because you're, you're grounding yourself. You, you're trying to grow and you're trying to do better in your life, um, but you can't. You know, this this person is kind of controlling and dominating. You just getting tired of it. it. Is somebody from your past or that you, some of you are married to, or for some of you, this is coming up for you if you're single. Now you talking about this uh i'm sorry the light is all in the way this six of cups okay okay now with the six of cups you got the um hierophant okay yeah it does talk about marriage two people that are married so two people make commitment to themselves. but you see somebody got a moon hiding behind their self like you know what i'm committed to you and all that kind of stuff but you know what i got secrets because moon moons always talk about secrets and the other one is in freaking, is red as hell. So, and they got a tail. Look at it. Look at this. But they making vows, you know, trying to, trying to be together and stuff. Or you are together in a marriage, but this shit ain't, ain't working. Okay. Sorry. It's not. Two people. This is, I feel like it's a fake marriage or a fake partnership. Two people being fake as hell somebody know they hold secrets but yet gonna go in front of the pastor and all that and make some kind of vows when you know you think the pastor ain't looking and you think you know that pastor don't need to look he's just doing his job don't the real one is looking his spirit okay now with this um <clears throat> transformation or this death card meaning new be endings for new beginnings then you got the strength so you will have the courage and the strength here, which is a major arcana card, so is the Hierophant um, to move forward, you know, to do something better to, um, could be dealing with the Leo, okay, or a Taurus too, I see a Taurus here, so you or your partner, want, however it is playing out, is going to make a total transformation in their life, they're going to leave dumb shit behind, and they are going to move forward, because they got the strength card, okay, being able to have the courage, okay? You remember the Wiz Wizard of Oz, the line, I, I need courage. <laughs> I need courage and the strength, okay? Taming yourself, you know, de uh, determined to reach your destiny with this, uh, having the strength. You're going to have the strength again, you know what I'm saying? You're just going to build yourself up to just, let's see what your hopes and fears Hopes and fears, because uh, you juggle it and you're tired of fighting. There's juggling going on with this person, like I said, going back and forth, and it's causing uh, conflict, whether it's internal conflict or actual, you know, some type of fighting, you're getting tired of this shit, period, tired of it. You know, that's your fears of fighting if you stay in this relationship, but you got the strength here or your partner, one of the two. All right, because all this back and forth is doing nothing but causing conflict. Uh, it could be competition for some of you, maybe, you know, in competition or somebody's in competition with you. Who going to be with who? Somebody could be fighting over uh, somebody that's already in a marriage or relationship. It could be so something like that because we do got the three of, of, uh, of cups here. And here's the Wheel of Fortune for the three of cups. So somebody's get ready to, um, you know, um, move. Somebody needs to move. This wheel needs to move. Okay. It, um, somebody, you know, is having a brand new start. Okay. Somebody's coming full circle. Somebody needs to end a karmic relationship and move on. Somebody's moving on from a third party, okay, and starting brand new. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. 
you done come full circle with this person, you know, and it's like time to move on, basically. So your future is uh, the Six of Cups with this Seven of Wands. So somebody's protecting themselves from the person in the past, okay, or a marriage, all right? Somebody is just going to, to defend themselves. They're not taking not taking somebody back at all from and they you know a marriage or someone that you dealt with in the past that keeps showing up here well we in the retrograde is about i think it's over tomorrow that you guys told me thank you so much for that information <laughs> okay now let's get you some advice and the first ones i want to use is mine my card simply loves affirmation oracle oracle you act, um you're going to be able to purchase it if you'd like all you have to do is email me or text me however call me if you like all the information listed below okay and if you need any personal private readings the information is listed below as well thank you okay what's the advice for sun moon rising and venus sign for the sign of pisces What's the advice, Spirit? What's the advice you have for them? What's the advice? And remember, the outcome is not for everybody, okay? And, it, and it's not going to be because it's just a possible outcome because it just depends on what decisions you make. Either you listen or you don't. You need to look in, you know, look in the mirror, okay? Man in the mirror. Take a real good look at yourself. Take a real good look at this situation, all right? Okay, so... Another advice card, please, with... Ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Spirit. Mm. Past life relationship. We keep talking about past life relationships. Okay. Uh, the person that you need to take a real good look at is somebody that you've been with before in the past. And we talked about that already. So, now... Oh, this goes... Yeah. Now... We're going to give you the card of the day, Pisces, the card of the day. What's the card of the day? Spirit, what's the card of the day for the sign of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? What's the card of the day? Call on your angels. You got angels all around you. They're there to help you. Whatever questions you may have, all right, they are there to guide you and to lead you. All you have to do is call them. They never leave you, okay? Never leave you. There's your angel right there, and they're hollering like, turn around, here I am. Can you just let me help you, please? But that's up to you. You have to be the one that, you know, reciprocate to, the, to your angel guides, okay? That's your card of the day. Okay, Pisces, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry. Um, I did upload it yesterday. I know, but I, I think it, it didn't, the Wi-Fi had turned off, you know, with the battery went dead on me and um, it just cut out completely. That's all I can think of because every time I go into archives and look at it, is there's a video there, but there's nothing on there. And it was like, you know, basically the same thing came out anyway, uh, you know, about what was going on in your situation, you know, a few things, you know, turn, you know, in different directions, but still it's the same thing. Okay. Trust and believe me, it is. Um, so if you need any help, you guys, you know, like I said, my information is listed below. You're welcome to call me. You're welcome to text me or email me. You're welcome to visit me on uh, and join me over on Instant Go if you have an iOS system. Okay. You guys take care of yourself and remember, you know, call on your angels. Let your angel guides help you. They're there to help you with any questions that you may have, okay? And seek personal counseling if you need counseling with this situation because this is this is kind of rough here, all right? It's a little rough trying to hold it together for somebody who just, all they want to do is just, you know, battle all the time and, and, and fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Got other people and they lie, you know, besides you. Or you could be doing this to someone, all right? You could be doing this. It's time to move on from this karmic situation, all right? That's Major Arcana. Spirit is saying, go, 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 and defend yourself from this person that keeps coming back from the past for some of you, all right? Okay, well, you take care, and I'll talk to you next month. Bye!